body has seen better days. Hello everybody, it is a sad day for all of us, for all the victims. On this day, we remember two known well towers that were destroyed on this day in 2001. Happy 9-11 everyone! <laughs> I know, I'm gonna get a lot of people being triggered and hate me for that. But yes, sadly, it is 9-11, and it is a sad day for everyone, um, but I just thought I'd make a vlog uh, today for it, and, and I'm sorry if I triggered some people in the beginning, it's just, I'm twisting the head. And it did happen 15 years ago, and it's been a long time, and I was two when it happened. Really, I was. <laughs> And at that age, the only thing that I saw on the TV on that day was the towers uh, crashing down, so at that age, I thought it was just building blocks falling down and turning into dust. That's all I thought at that age. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's uh, get to the vlog right away so I can stop being a freaking dick about this that people are probably like, TOO SOON! TOO SOON! <laughs> So yeah, before I start this vlog, I also want to apologize for not making videos yesterday and on Friday. Um, I just didn't know what to talk about, and um, and so yeah. So I decided that I should like wait until 9/11. Honestly, for some strange reason, I thought it was gonna be on a Monday, but no. So uh, yeah, so it's a good thing when you know that this this. Well, I don't- it's not a fucking holiday, what the fuck? This sad day is on a school day because every time it's on a school day, we always have to go and watch a freaking documentary. At least that's what I have to do in other schools. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Uh, <laughs> so I guess what I could talk about is um, what happened on Friday and Saturday. Mix those two, see if there's any interesting things. First, let me say... I love my fucking brush. <laughs> I love my fucking brush driver. I love her so much. Like the reason why I do is because when she drops me up, because remember I had to, I have to ride with uh, with her middle schoolers. But uh, but the awesome thing about riding with her middle schoolers is that she actually drops me near home. Like I can just get off the bus walk from the museum, through the shortcut, and right to my home. <laughs> I am so happy that I can do that. And hopefully, it will last, because honestly, I don't mind riding with middle schoolers, although I almost wanted to slap one, because he went and asked my gender, and I said, it's none of your business. Because literally, it's not. Because one, I don't know them. I don't want to know them. I just want to go home. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. yeah. But after I said it was none of your business, he just went and giggled with his friends. And he's one, he's one of those kids that think that they're cool, but actually they're not. They, the only reason why they feel cool is because they have their little so-called friends to back them, back him up. So, uh, yeah. And every time I'm on the bus with those middle schoolers, I always say to myself, I'm like, was middle school like this for me when I was a kid? Let me tell you, there were less middle schoolers when I went to middle school with devices. Like, less kids had devices because parents still don't trust their kids, but apparently nowadays they do. They're like, hey little Jimmy, or hey little Sally, or whatever. Here's a freaking DS. Here's a cell phone. We got a family plan, so if you break it, we can fix it. Meh. And, yeah. Oof. Honestly, I don't even know what to talk about still. I just thought I'd make a vlog so I can get a video up for you guys considering I didn't upload video, a single video yesterday 
or on Friday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to talk about. But I would like to say something at the moment, but, um, I tried, I tried to muster up the courage to, um, ask my dad if he allowed me to do Let's Plays on his, um, computer, because I really want to, I really want to do Let's Play of Star Wars Old Republic, because I love that game, I love it so much, but considering I haven't played it for a while, I can't remember my freaking username and I can't remember my password, so I'm gonna have to make one if this is successful. So, yeah. And I told my mom that I was sick of asking him, asking him that, so I think she's gonna let me do it until I'm like, hey, can you ask him this for me? Because I can't. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, uh, and if you're wondering why I have more energy and I'm projecting my voice at the moment, it's because no one is in the office, okay? And I don't like making videos when people are in the office. The problem is, when people are upstairs, they can hear me talking, alright? And for some strange reason, I get self-conscious whenever I'm making a video and someone is like next door to me and they can hear me so if I'm talking quietly and I'm like a little bit shy that's that's because and I don't know I don't know what it is I'm not camera shy I love the camera <laughs> that does not sound right oh by the way you will not believe what ha what happened to me I lost my freaking outliner pen now if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know those Sharpie fine point pens? Like, they're like, they're made from Sharpie, but they're like pens and stuff. Yeah. I use those uh, to outline my drawings, and I lost both of them. Well, one of them got ruined in the wash, and I thought I took it out of my pocket. I thought I cleaned everything, but apparently I didn't, so that got ruined and I had to throw it away. Then the other one, I'm still looking for it. I'm still looking for it, and I don't know where the fuck it is, and I hope no one took it, because I really don't want to beat the shit out of someone just for an outliner pen. <sighs> this is what happens when someone who likes to draw loses their things. They go crazy, and I'm surprised part of my sanity is still, in, is still intact. So, yeah, I'm trying to find that shit before I go nuts. I need my pen. I need it. I really need it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I got a message from one of my friends that um adopted me as their son. <laughs> and for 9-11, I sent her a message saying happy 9-11 with the picture of the towers and they're not the towers they're like spaghetti they're the noodles with sauce and stuff <laughs> and it says don't forget he still more believable than the official story she message go to your room and think about what you've done and better not hear or say disrespect like this again i'm sorry mom <laughs> seriously though don't joke about this it's a dry it's a dry serious and sensitive topic for many people i know that <laughs> i know i'm not supposed to be laughing about that cuz it was horrible i've seen the videos and um, I and I've read the stories and shit, but um, but <laughs> I'm sorry, the dank memers have ruined me. <laughs> oh what now? Okay, so how are you today? I'm good. I'm making a video. <laughs> you see, when I make a joke about something so sensitive. Or make an offensive joke or what, whatever kind. I know I'm gonna get hate. I know there's gonna be someone who's triggered and is going to go, "You can't joke about that stuff. That's either too soon or that's offensive." I'm like, "Yeah, that's why I made a joke about it, okay?" And people make jokes about something that's sensitive or just make offensive jokes over something bad to make it better, all right? <laughs> Either that, or it's because they're cruel, or it's just funny as fuck. So, that's my theory for people making jokes about 9-11. They're trying to make it better. <laughs> they're, they're hiding the guilt of, or the sadness of it. I think that's why.
Oh, well, at least someone laughed at my joke. One of my friends who's also uh, transgender, um, <laughs> I sent him the same message, and he laughed. He laughed at that. <laughs> at least someone has some humor. <laughs> yeah, dang. Oh, and I know this isn't really important, and you guys probably, well, most likely don't care about this, but... You know that uh, song that Willy Wonka sings, you know, in the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie? Yeah, you know that song that he sings, the pure imagination one? Yeah. Two days ago, I saw that movie on TV because they were playing it in, in memory for Gene Wilder because he passed away recently. And rest in peace, you were awesome, you were fucking awesome, you were part of my childhood, man. <laughs> um... But, um, but, and I got, and I got the song on my iPod, and, and I kept on listening to it, and I think I should have only listened it once, well, no, because that wouldn't really help, but, uh, I have that, I've been having that song stuck in my head, and every time that song just starts up again, like, <laughs> It just drives me crazy because I'm like, I like the song, but could you please stop playing it? And here's how it goes in my head. Come with me and you'll be in the world of pure imagination. Oh my god. Ugh. And then finally, another song comes up and I'm just like, oh, thank god. <laughs> There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we're going. Yeah, creepy song. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then it stops. There's silence. And then, five seconds later, come with me and you'll be- GOD DAMN IT! <laughs> God fucking damn it. Someone get Gene Wilder out of my head. He's driving me crazy. God damn it. So, uh, yeah, that's what's been going through my head ever since that night I saw that movie again, so. But yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, drop a comment of what you want me to do in the next video, or if you want me to do a try not to laugh or challenge or something, or, or you want me to react to a video, just drop it in the comment, subscribe if you have it, it'll definitely mean a lot to me. I really need it, I really do need it. I only got 68 subscribers, man. I need more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take my random ass out of here. Well, my crazy ass out of here. And I hope you guys are doing an awesome time. I don't know. Um. Take two. <laughs> hope you guys are having an awesome day. And, uh, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything that I would do. No, don't do anything I won't do. So, uh, yeah. This is the Crazy YouTuber signing out. You guys just keep being crazy. Bye!